Mobile, accelerating CITS mobility innovation and deployment in Europe. E-learning course on CITS. Part 1. Introduction. Project co-funded by the European Union. Authors, Evangelos Mitsakis and Ariti Kotsi from Surf HIT. Giacomo Sommer from Ertico, ITS Europe. CITS stands for Cooperative Intelligent Transport Systems. This is defined as a group of technologies and applications that allow road users to exchange data with each other and the surrounding digital road infrastructure through wireless communications. This digital connectivity enables a wide range of information and cooperation services that allow road users and traffic managers to interact and coordinate their actions, helping them to take the right decisions and to adapt to the traffic situation. The CITS provides various types of benefits for different end-user categories. The main ones are presented here. The benefits for drivers and road users mainly consist in improved safety and security, reduced energy or fuel consumption, tailored information and alerts, routing and transport mode advice, better traveller experience thanks to higher comfort and reduced stress. In terms of operational performance, the key benefits are reduced travel times, higher journey time reliability, priority for selected users, such as emergency vehicles, public transport and vulnerable road users, reduced costs for transport operators in terms of energy or fuel consumption and operations efficiency. Benefits for public authorities are twofold. On one hand, CITS enables more efficient traffic management. In terms of improved management of the road transport system, smoother traffic flow, increased safety. On the other hand, CITS can support policy goals such as reduced harmful emissions and congestion, increased road safety and security, higher local innovation and growth, more livable city in terms of accessibility, sustainability and inclusiveness. In addition, CITS supports the delivery of the European Vision Zero and new Green Deal policy objectives. CITS is a significant enabler for the establishment and fostering of innovative concepts such as smart cities, mobility as a service, integrated transport systems and connected and automated mobility. More specifically, in the framework of smart cities, CITS could upscale the classic information and communication technology services to promote more effectively sustainable deployments and tackle effectively traffic problems. All this while contributing to the improvement of environmental factors. Concerning mobility as a service, CITS services provided through user-centric tailor-made applications can be integrated and become part of wider solutions, serving individual travellers' needs. From the perspective of integrated transport systems, CITS can enhance the combination of different modes of transport through their innovative functionalities, which provide multiple benefits and could maximise comfort, safety and accessibility. Finally, CITS is an integral part for the wide-scale deployment of connected and automated mobility, as their functions could be integrated in vehicles' machines, paving the way for autonomous vehicles as well. What kind of data is exchanged by CITS services? There are data that are exchanged through standardised messages. The figure on the screen shows what is called a local dynamic map. 
This is an aggregation of data being standardised in Europe for CITS applications, which is based on a four-layer model. The first, or bottom layer, consists of static data, such as road data, a map of the road network. The second layer consists of relatively static data, such as signals not included in map data. The third layer consists of relatively dynamic data, such as congestion, traffic lights and their status, signal phase, variable message signs, and other traffic conditions. The fourth, or top layer, consists of highly dynamic data, such as information from vehicle sensors, speed, acceleration, direction, etc. These data are pooled and treated in an anonymized form, in line with the General Data Protection Regulation. As explained, CITS services require the exchange of data. Two important aspects of this exchange are the privacy and security of the data exchanged. Regarding the privacy, the General Data Protection Regulation, also referred to as GDPR, establishes six main principles. Two principles are especially relevant for CITS services, the transparency and the data minimization. The GDPR introduces also the concept of pseudonymity, serving as a tool to relax the strict requirements for anonymization. Concerning the security, this is an important element to make sure that the messages received can be trusted, whether they are warning alerts about the road or traffic conditions, or messages of information or advice. To this end, a certification system is put in place, somewhat similar to the one used on the internet. Which communication technologies are used? CITS relies on wireless communication technologies, which can be classified into short range, ETSI ITS G5 radio broadcast, which provides low latencies, useful for time critical messages, long range, cellular networks, which provide wider coverage and scalable access to a large number of devices. These technologies complement each other and can be used together in a combined, hybrid way. Bundling is the coordinated provision of multiple CITS services integrated in one app. CITS service bundles are developed and provided in the form of open, modular, extendable apps. This concerns mainly two end-user dimensions, the road users and the public authorities. The main benefits of bundling for CITS deployment are flexibility, cost efficiency, and savings in infrastructure requirements. The CITS bundling provides different benefits and involves different objectives depending on the end user. As said, for the road user, bundling enables the provision of various CITS services within an integrated suite through devices such as smartphones, tablets, onboard units or systems. This is done through artificial intelligence technologies, which allows services tailoring based on the awareness of the context and location, user preferences, adaptive and predictive simulations. Bundling also enables the road user interaction with the traffic management. For the public authority, CITS bundling enables the integration and exploitation of the use of CITS services for operational smart traffic management, the enhancement of implementation steps, the identification of available smart mobility services in the road network, the identification of contribution of smart mobility services to traffic management targets, and eventually the improvement of the overall operational process. The successful deployment of CITS services is not only a question of technology, but it also depends on the level of engagement and cooperation between all the different transport system stakeholders, namely the local authorities in the cities, the regional and national governments, the operators of the public and shared transport modes, the operators of commercial fleets for the transport of people and goods, the innovation agencies, the service providers, and last but not least, the road users, in terms of acceptance and behaviour. The deployment of CITS 
enables a smarter mobility for all stakeholders and users in the transport ecosystem. The focus of a training depends on the specific target group, the stakeholders' needs, role and type, but also on the environment – urban, peri-urban or highway. This training is made of three modules – this introduction and two modules respectively targeting road users, such as drivers and vulnerable road users, as well as fleet managers, public authorities, including traffic management operators, technical staff and maintenance supervisors, Continue training with the next e-learning courses on CITS. Part 2. Road Users. Part 3. Public Authorities. More on CITS on the C-Mobile Project Platform, Twitter and LinkedIn. To ensure a successful, large-scale deployment of CITS services, the consortium of the C-Mobile Project brings together partners, local stakeholder and road users representing the entire transport ecosystem.